Hey guys, Dan Larson here, welcome to EDM Production 7. Today I want to talk a little about producer blocks. You know, I get this question like very regularly and I experience the opposite of what I read any, everywhere because what I read about producing blocks is if you have this go away, like go out, do a little different things, take that project away a little, just, you know, um, make it rest. But to be honest, this never worked for me because when I do that, I always, uh, you know, forget about it. I always lose inspiration and, you know, it is very hard to get back on the track again. And what does work for me is to keep pushing it really hard. You know, it, it must sound funny, but what I experience is start tweaking, even if it's painful. If you still find that this track goes nowhere and it is completely a failure, I don't want to recommend and I don't want to encourage you to stop it. I don't want to encourage you to give up or even to have a rest of it because what always worked for me is start pushing it, start wicking it, try new sounds, even drop in a loop or even use a sound what uh, you know what other people use in their songs or something. It doesn't really matter. What really does matter is find something which can give you instant inspiration and, and fresh things, you know, to get through the producing blocks. And this is what always worked for me, you know, to keep pushing it hard and uh, do everything what you can do to find something which makes you excited again. Because this is the biggest problem what I always experience. Not only the fact that I can't create any new sound or even a sound which, you know, just excites me. The biggest problem what I face always is uh, to find an arrangement, a melody idea or anything which just, you know, makes me excited. And it is very funny because when I start making a sound and I start making a song or even just a loop, you know, a drop or something, uh, <laughs> the final result will be totally different than the one I started working on. For example, maybe only one sound like a drum sound or a percussion sound or anything will be the same between the beginner project and the final result. And this is why, because, you know, I, I found myself that it is really hard to express everything from your head into the computer and, and doing everything what you want. It is always a very hard task. But what I mean is you can still do awesome things. You can still drop in a new exciting sound. You can still use very cool melodies, even if it's, you know, inspired, inspired by another song. It doesn't really matter. What really does matter is just keep pushing it. This is how you will evolve and this is how you will improve. So this is a very exciting and very, well, sometimes it's a very hard thing to get through this and, you know, push it even when it is very hard. Sometimes I sit down to the computer, I uh, like at around 10 p.m., start tweaking and, and at around 2 p.m. I get myself, oh God, this is so crap. So I'm very tired. Let's go sleep and let's get back to this project a little later, like tomorrow afternoon, I don't know. And when I get back to the computer, I hear that, okay, this is not that bad. So let's tweak it a little more. And you know, sometimes it takes me several days to get to a point where I say, okay, this is it. This is the direction what I'm looking for. But you know, if I gave up at uh, the first day or even at the second, day that would be a problem because I would get used to giving up and this is not an option this cannot be an option for you guys I read an interview with a famous guy and to be honest I don't remember the name of the producer who was asked about what would you recommend for what would you recommend for the younger yourself and he said always finish songs even those songs what you don't feel strong enough or if you don't feel uh, it is really yours and it is really coming from the deepest and this is a very clever recommendation because that is what I experienced too. To be honest I don't have too much time to work on complete songs and my own projects because I need to push all the sound designs and videos and stuff but uh, what I know I don't have too much unfinished projects on my computer but uh, I like to push them really hard to find a direction what I really enjoy. And I prepared this little song here, what uh, took me like, I don't know, a lot of time to get to this stage where I think it is almost, well, not finished because this is only one intro build up and a drop. But um, I think there is not too much to do here. What I need to do is, to, you know, just copy it, 
making another melody part and stuff and make some adjustment, make some changes around that. So it is a little weird, I know, but I found it that, okay, it is a little unique. I feel it's mine, but you guys cannot imagine how great confusion I went through while making this song. So let me show it to you guys. So this was it. To be honest, I pretty like it. It's not my strongest and not my best song I made, I know, but uh, I feel it a little unique and this is the point here. So I hope I was able to encourage you and I hope I was able to give you some tips on how to get through producer blogs. And see you next time, guys.